Hi, welcome to another episode of our ant vlog. Last time I talked to you about uh, intelligence of ants and today I have another topic that, at least in my opinion, is just as astonishing. And it's about navigation, about the capability of ants or the skills of ants that they use and utilize for navigating. There have been some amazing studies and discoveries been made uh, in the last few years on the different ways on how ants manage to navigate the territories. And if you think about it, being able to navigate is key for an ant because uh, depending on the species, they, they travel long distances away from the nest, sometimes 50 meters, sometimes even more. Uh, for such tiny creatures, it's an amazing feat, it's an amazing distance. And they need to find their way back because uh, they can't survive on their own. They need to find their nest again every time. And so navigating is key for, for ants. And in the past, we I think well I did never thought about much thought about it much but uh, recent studies have shown things that that are just astonishing what they are actually capable of when it comes to navigating. Now most studies uh, about navigation are made with desert ants um, of the of, of the species species. Let me write down for you. Cutta uh, glyphis. Sorry for the poor writing. Um, Cataglyphis fortis, that's the species. And the reason for that is that unlike other ants, they inhabit salt pans. So those salt pans offer little cues that can be used for navigation. And the heat in those areas mean that smells dissolve rather quickly. Um, now those ants need to travel uh, huge distances in order to find enough food in those salt pans. They live from insects that have been that came into the salt pans and died of exhaustion, died of because of the heat. And but they need to cover a lot of distance to find all find those food sources. And all those conditions force them to be incredible navigators. And it also makes studying them easier since it's not too hard to recreate uh, environments similar to their natural habitats. So since these studies most of these studies have been all been made of the same species, we don't know if the things discovered apply to other ant species too, or all other ant species. Uh, but one thing is for sure that those studies show once more that we, again, I believe we, we again have underestimated those little creatures in the past because they can do so much more than we even thought of. In, uh, in this video, we'll only scratch the surface of this topic, but I will put a lot of links, uh, quite a few links, uh, in the description of this video with different articles about the same topic, about, uh, their, about the dif different discoveries and uh, for all of you who want to go more in-depth and everything I talk about in these videos can be found in those articles. So let's go back to the de desert ants. We already know, knew for quite a while that ants can mark um, a route, their roots by, by setting a trail of pheromones. But this doesn't seem to be enough to explain how ants find their way back since it has been observed in the past that ants keep changing directions while looking for food. For example, if this is the nest here, uh, if ants are looking for food, they, they don't go in straight lines. In order to cover the most, most ground as possible, they usually take a route that may, might look something like this, you know. So they change directions. And once they found a food source, in this case this fly, uh, they will take the food source back to the nest, but it has been observed in the past how they took the direct route back to the nest. So they didn't uh, follow the or their original route back, they took a direct route to the nest. So this shows that, uh, that they have to have additional navigation skills than just following a pheromone trail. And especially for desert ants as well, pheromone trails would also quickly dissolve uh, due to the heat and be no longer of any use for a returning ant. So uh, there have been studies made with those ants and those studies have shown now that desert ants use multiple tools to find their way home or to navigate in general. And on one side they memorize both visual uh, cues and smells to create a map of their surroundings and they are capable to filter out cues that reappear at different locations uh, and are therefore useless for navigation since they are not unique landmarks. So what it means is if, for example, if near the nest there are a lot of pebbles stone pebbles that look all the same, you know, more or less the same, 
they will not memorize them. But if there's something special like a, a, a little stick wig or a twig or um, anything that is, that is unique, you know, they will they will memorize that unique uh, landmark and forget about those who are not unique. So they can use it for navigating and. And this itself amazes scientists. It amazes me as well, <laughs> um, because in the in the past, no one expected that the nervous, the tiny nervous system of an ant could could be capable of such things. Uh, in other in other studies, scientists have also discovered that ants use the angles of sunlight as an, an internal compass. So uh, we have the sun, the sunlight, and ants. Let me throw a little ant here. I hope you know what it means. Not the best drawing. But ants use the, the angles of the sunlight to navigate. But the thing is, if you the, the, those angles just give you direction. If you really want to use it for navigating, you need also need you also need a way to measure distances. Otherwise, just having an angle wouldn't be much help. And uh, so far, the studies have been made, and it has been discovered that desert ants measure distance by memorizing how many steps they take. You know, they, they remember, they, they count their steps actually, and by counting their steps, they know the distance they traveled and on a certain route, and now they can navigate, they can use the direction of the sunlight and the distance they traveled and know exactly where they are. Or what uh, what route they took, and again, that's an amazing feat for a creature with a brain smaller than a needle, uh, a pinhead or a needlehead. So, um, and now <laughs> newer studies have even shown that ants are even capable of of uh, sensing the magnetic field of the planet and use this for navigation too, which is amazing. So, now as you can see, those ants have an incredible array of navigation tools. And at their disposal, so making them true masters of navigation. Actually, uh, what amazes me is not only the variety of navigation tools they use, but also the fact that they are capable of to use all of them together simultaneously to map their environment. Um, a feat that let us again ask the question: What else the tiny nervous systems of, a, of ants might be capable of? And since all the studies I told, I told you about right now have been done in the recent years, uh, there still might be more discoveries just ahead, you know, in the near future. And we don't even know what else we don't know yet about how ants navigate. And it's just a small part of their, of their, of their life, their navigation skills, right? Now for a fun fact, uh, a team at the A. Marseille University in France have actually created a robot that uh, uses the results of those studies to navigate without GPS. So uh, this robot also counts steps, uh, measures sunlight and stuff like that. And, um, and it actually works great, you know, it's successful. It can really, uh, it can, you, the robot can be sent out and walk a route and then go directly back to the original or the, the starting point. And that's, that's amazing. They just use the same uh, techniques that ants are using for robots right, right now. And what they're planning to do is using it in robots as a, as a backup plan if the GPS fails. So it has an alt alternative m uh, method of navigating. So that's amazing. Anyway, um, I will put a link to the, to the, the robot article as well to, in, the, in the description of this video. But that's what I have to say about navigation right now. Um, I hope this video might have widened your horizon when it comes to ants. And uh, again, if you have questions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Um, and of course, I always appreciate a like. If you like the video, please tell us. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And yeah, that's all for all. So thank you for your attention and let's hear you again. I'll see you again in the next vlog.